Good morning everybody, it's a February the 6th and I just thought I would do a pre-market um, recap as there's a quite nice price action to review here. So let's start off by analysing where we are to start the week. And so we have a couple of targets initially. We have this volume and balance up here at 4225 which for me is still a huge draw on liquidity. And we also have this order block down here. Uh, with the most sensitive part sitting at 4084. So that's the range I believe we're working in. Um, yes, at the end of last week, we sort of closed around the 4150 mark, which was still within a premium of this range. So if we take this range from this low to this high, we were still trading within a premium. So I, I thought we could either, you know, <clears throat> continue running into this volume imbalance, which would be risky trades, taking them, you know, taking trades in a premium up into a further premium. But price ultimately decided to run down into this uh, discount. And so we have a discount on the 62 on this order block, but it found a uh, it found its level on the equilibrium point. Now, um, why is that the case? It's because we are close to the 4100 mark, which is obviously a big whole site number and it didn't want to break. We also have this uh, fair value gap, which formed <clears throat> back in this price leg, um, which happened on Tuesday the 13th of December, and it has formed a, <clears throat> a level of support. Um, we also have this, which is a potential rejection block. So there's multiple reasons why it rejects of this area. Equally, the, probably the most prevalent is we take our fib across this range. It's actually on equilibrium of this range here. So it's, sorry, 62% fib of this range. So there's multiple reasons why it uh, has bounced. But for me, we are still within range. We are still uh, <coughs> in, inconclusive in terms of which direction we're going to head for today's price action. Nonetheless, uh, let's have a look at today in slightly more detail. So things to bear in mind, we have Friday close and Sunday open. We do have a gap which hasn't been completely filled. So I do anticipate price to want to reach back up to fill this this uh, this weekly opening gap. Um, during the end of the Asian session, the start of the London pre-market, we did have this fail of the weekly open price. And then this is where London open began and we had this mid block form. So we had the high, the low and the fail swing high. And within inside that we had a fair value gap. We created some equal highs, which created liquidity above the buy side, and it purged it. And as soon as we saw this immediate reaction away, we knew we were heading down. Where are we heading down? To that to that discount, which I mentioned with on the uh, hourly, which was back down to sort of 41 with a with a whole site target of 40.84, right? So. Um, <clears throat> Price uh, obviously broke away and retraced into this. This could have been your second entry into this fairly fair value gap. You can see the, the, another entry here would have been a failure of the mid block. And then we slowly ground our way down. So this level here started um, at around between the, um, the, sort of the London the London AM session. And one thing to note is around 5.30 is sometimes known as the low of the day, right? So it's uh, after London AM session and then price can rebound from that. So it's also another reason to be looking for reversal patterns around the sort of half five area. So half five is, is a good time to be aware of, all right? Uh, and then we see this uh, <clears throat> this nice reversal. So this is obviously that 62% fib of that range. It's also within that fair value gap. It's also um, a whole site number. So there's multiple reasons why this is gonna reverse, okay? So we get this, um, <clears throat> This expansion, aggressive price move action away, we get this fair value gap left behind, price retrains, uh, retraces back into that, and then it chops around a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of a sloppy price action, but ultimately it does come back, and what's it trying to do? It's ultimately fitting in this fair value gap to a T. So your entry could have been uh, anywhere within this fair value gap, and you'll stop below these lows. And you, what would you have been targeting? You would have been targeting initially these equal highs, which were sat here, that could have been your partial. Um, but you also could have looked to take um, a, a more aggressive approach and looked to have taken um, a percentage of this range. So, right, so this, this range down, you could be looking to trade back into this OTE zone and look for reasons why we'd want to trade back up into that area. So, we, if we take this price action, we, we aggressively, and this is spalling price action, so we, <clears throat> where the algorithm starts to run into a spalling program, and then we formed a breaker block. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw some price action move back towards this breaker block, for me personally. Breaker blocks usually like to be already traced back into my view. However, if it is stonk, it could just decide to run up and fill that weekly gap. So um, I'll be looking for potential entries around here, or if it fails this break, I'll be looking for entries down towards that um, our, uh, that sort of daily order block of 4084. Uh, but this price action leg up, we had this, um, we had, a we had a volume imbalance sat here, so that formed a, a, you know, a level of support on the way up. And then we had this order block, it retraced and hit off that, taking purging this sell side on these equal lows which sat here. We then had another volume imbalance that price wanted to refill before expanding away. And price was ultimately reaching this level up here. So if we look at the, um, if we have a quick look at the 5min, so <clears throat> 5min is obviously the top of uh, this order block, uh, bearish order block, right? Um, so yeah, that rounds up my, um, and it's also this order block here, right, on the 15min. So. 15, so you've got you know, multiple confluences there, right? So 
that rounds up uh, my uh, pre-market review. Uh, where do I think price is likely to go next? Like I mentioned, we're sort of stuck in the middle of a range. We have, um, not only have we run down into that discount, although it's a cheap discount on the daily into the equilibrium point and retraced up, we have retraced back into the um, premium of this range, right? So it's retraced back into that uh, OTE zone. So price could go either way. Um, I like looking for, I'm gonna be looking to see how price reacts around this breaker block, right? If it wants to move up, off this breaker block around the open, we might be targeting this weekly gap. However, if it fails this breaker block, I could see us running down to this uh, order block down here. So at the moment, we're chopping in the middle of a range, and there's no trades for me now until the open. But yeah, I hope you found it useful. As always, please leave comments in the uh, in the description or reach out to me on Twitter. And until next time, catch you soon.